Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Tarot Map and I have received the simple tarot for a review and to share with you guys uh, from the author of the tarot from NG and um, it arrived in this cute little box. I'm sure the Polish post office loved it. Tarot. <laughs> but yeah, it just arrives like this, so it's pretty cute. And uh, as the name suggests, it's the simple tarot and it's uh, directed or made for beginners of tarot. So people who want to study tarot, who want to start the, uh, the adventure into tarot. It's made by NG Green and you can find all the information at thesimpletarot.com and I'm going to link it below as well. Um, so it arrived, the, the cards arrive uh, with a few little bits and pieces. So there's a simple tarot the companion guidebook and we get a black and white um, a pages of each card gets a page of information. So it's not very, uh, like a lot of information you have to tackle and it's just to jumpstart you off with your tarot journey. So uh, because the cards are quite graphic, you get the all the kind of symbolism and important information about the Rider Waite Smith system that you can get. I would actually suggest, and I think it would be a great idea, to use this deck when you want to study tarot um, in companion with Rider Waite Smith system, because that's what the deck is uh, kind of based on. And then you get the traditional uh, card image and you get also the image of the simple tarot which has the keywords, it helps you to uh, simplify things and maybe like uh, put them into a little nugget of you know tarot wisdom so that you can start using tarot without too much um, information being put out onto you. So the book, what I liked about it, so it has all the description of the cards, but then it also has a chapter on suits and elements, which I think it's a cool idea. So it shows you which suit is connected to what element and it describes what the cups are about, what water element is about, and then it goes, you know, through all the other elements. And then also it has a chapter about numbers, which is cool. And Angie describes all the numbers uh, from 1 to 10. And you get also the combination of two cups, two of pentacles, two of swords, two of wands, and the high priestess. So all the twos, what they mean in different suits. So this is quite interesting. And then there is a chapter on the people, on the court cards. So you get all the pages described and then page and the suit, the knights, the queens and the kings. And you also have a, has a, have a little symbol, uh, symbol chapter. And here you get, you know, very simple mountain, what it means when you see it on the cards, water and earth, uh, sun and moon. There's a little dog from the, you know, uh, full card, candle or lantern, sunflower and so on and so forth. So. It's really cute and I think pretty neat idea for the beginners, tarot, beginners of tarot to jumpstart themselves onto the tarot journey. We know that tarot is quite a deep system, so I'm sure that Angie knows and knew that she couldn't put all the important keywords onto the cards. The cards wouldn't, like it wouldn't be just enough space. So she had to pick what she thought was the most important for the beginner student to, um, you know, start to use tarot. But of course, I would suggest if you are serious about tarot uh, studies, that you um, treat this as a beginning and then through this beautiful introduction, which is quite practical and easy to use and read, you study properly the Rider Waite Smith system or the Toff system or the Marseille system, whatever you feel drawn to and more interested in, because only when you really learn a tarot system, you can break free of the system and kind of follow your own way of reading the cards. So in the little box, together with the book, you also got, uh, or I got, and the two extra kind of like, um, what could we say, like maybe a altar card. So there's the death card, which is cool, and the high priestess card. 
and also there is an information that you can enter a, a kind of challenge or a little giveaway uh, and you can win your own simple tarot. So I'm just going to hold it here but you can find Angie on Instagram and I will link her information below so that maybe if you are a tarot beginner or are interested like me in just uh, seeing how other people interpret cards, how they see tarot, because that's quite fascinating for me, then you can get your own deck like this maybe. Uh, the decks are going to go on Kickstarter so you can also support Angie. I'm going to link the information below as well. Then you get also this simple tarot cheat sheet which is quite neat. Uh, so you get cups, mm, uh, pentacles, swords and wands, so all the suits, all the numbers together with the people and the major arcana which are here and just like a little cheat sheet so the full will be fresh hope, take chances, new paths and adventures beginning. And you can see how the card looks. So I think this is pretty cool and um, that I'm going to probably use it myself just to see where I stand with it. Uh, the paper in the beginning when I pulled the cards out I thought wow I'm not sure if this paper is so good but actually it is good. It shuffles beautifully. Uh, I'm riffle, like you know I uh, do riffle shuffle with this deck with uh, no no problems. It's very flexible. The cards are not uh, laminated heavily. They have protection. They maybe feel a little bit papery but they actually very bendy easy to use and I think they actually will last uh, quite a long time because my first impression was oh I'm not sure if this uh, paper will last but I think it's really good so it shuffles very well if you're one of the stock snobs <laughs> and expect it to be like you know star child or moon child like 300 however mm, grams of you know this paper stock which is very thick this is not it, but if you like Riffle Shuffle and you like Bendy Stock, like myself, you will be happy with this one. These are the backs of the cards. Like I just feel this dot <laughs> mesmerizing. And as I said, the cards are color-coded. So it's very simple to distinguish also when you pull a few cards together. Um, what's happening in your, in your reading, you know? And if you get like, for example, three cards, you know that this is quite strong emphasis on the pentacle cards. And then you can go into your little keywords, see what the cards are about. And even before you start a reading, you already have the first intro into the reading via how many elements cards are repeating themselves, what is the strongest element in the reading and what, uh, what can you say about element of earth and pentacles and you can find it into the booklet, like just the little snippet. So um, the artwork or the, of the deck itself, I'm not going to show you all the cards but you can get a sense. The artwork of the deck is very simple, like the simple tarot, it's kind of like a graphic you get the name of the tarot card, a traditional tarot card based on Rider Waite Smith. You get the traditional kind of the most important or the main meaning. As I said, I'm sure Angie could figure out, however, more many descriptions of Ace of Swords, but mental clarity, victory, and success she picked for this card to jump start your intuition. The race, which is the sun, it's about optimism, crown and mastery. So um, that's what you get with each of the card. Name of the card, traditional name, keywords and little symbols that you can see in traditional Rider Waite Smith cards and they explained on the card. The major arcana are white and we have also the you know important uh, features not everything because we know that in Rider Waite Smith the fool has a little bag, it has a rose, you know, like a lot of different information is important but to start off these are probably the most important. So I think that's Angie's um, aim to help people to start and then it's up to you how your tarot journey will continue. And uh, being, a, you know, a professional tarot reader, I still like to uh, read what other people uh, think about 
cut. So the worst is over hitting rock bottom. I remember my tarot teacher saying these things, you know, when he said like, when you get 10 of swords, like you can't go any lower. It's like from there, it's only up. So despite the fact that you feel like shit probably, but things are going to start shifting for you. So eight of wands, speed, sudden change, news out of the blue. That's really interesting. I think it's quite cool idea. Conventional wisdom, tradition and conformity. Justice. And I've done a reading on my one of the ep episodes of my Tarot Before Coffee. So you can take a look in my previous video and also on IGTV where I use this deck. And I'm going to use it a few more times so you can get maybe a sense how it can be used in a reading. I think it could be maybe uh, nice to mix it with other decks as well, like if you use a few different tarot decks. <laughs> the sun is the baby, but it's childlike joy, not the baby baby. <laughs> so here you go. So that's the how the deck looks and I think you get a sense of it. And as I said, when you pull a few cards together, you know straight away, oh my god, I only got green today. So, you know, pay attention to the earth or there's so much blue, which is water. Or It's really easy for the beginners to start reading with tarot. So I think uh, as an offering for the beginner tarot students, this is pretty cool. I'm not sure if this is for everybody who already knows tarot well, because it might be just too boring or narrow, you know what I mean. But if you start your tarot adventure, it's definitely something to consider. And I think um, she also actually, for people who don't want these keywords or um, little descriptions on the cards, she also is creating a version without those um, keywords, you know, like friends and stuff like this. So if you like a graphic artwork like that, you can check it out because there will be also a version, I think, without without these keywords. So let me know what you think about it. And thank you for watching. And I speak to you soon. Bye.